all that later on, though, because now we're kicking it off in the pistol round here on Ascent. Zeta versus Crew with Crew on the defense. And you're seeing Mazzino ready to take contact. A shock dart primed and ready. A little bit of damage done. And Mazzino follows up with the kill, but he's not able to get out of there alive. Still trading from the grave with his nano swarm, thinning out the numbers of Zeta and making it almost impossible. Oh, definitely impossible for these players to follow up and make it through those smokes. Yeah, good luck, Makiba. It's going to be a little bit of a tough one for him to try and get through this. And Klaus is going to be there to close out and onto the board. And they've gone through with the early fault line, trying to do some damage, but so aggressive out of the side of crew. Yeah, trying to make use of those weaker weapons and doing a good job of it with that kill traded out to start with. But Zeta do manage to recover that man advantage. Nags getting all the way down there for a kill. The bulldog, the dash out, and now it's a 3v3 of two players in position, ready to take these left. fights. But Takashi, sneaking in towards heaven, might just have the backstab. Oh, no, he's spraying away. They know he's here now. Running over to try and help his teammates make it through the choke point. But there's still going to be two guys in position. And Nags Back is delivering down. on the Bulldog. The ranged ADS. But as he falls, there's 12 seconds left. They need the plants. It's a 1v1. And it goes Crew's way. That will be the bonus in the hands of Latam. Yeah, I'm almost certain that he spotted the alarm bar. That's why he's just hesitating, moving any further forward. I don't know if they're going to expect it to be this far forward, though. And actually, having that dash available just means he can get back out of there without any problems at all. Finally, Rita will put him down, but it leaves them in a position still with a man disadvantage. Yeah, and their positions are known. They know there's one splitting in through middle. Takaje is trying to get something done, catch them on the rotates, but there's left. very few angles given away. Crew are playing a tight game right now as they peek on out. The trades are there and they start to go Zeta's way with only a fraction of HP on each remaining player. A 1v2 commences. Dalzik has to do it all on the Astra. Stars to play with, but he won't be deploying them just yet. Looking to take some duels. He has injected his backside. This could be a big problem as he creeps onto the site. Raida can take the backstab and close out the first round for the Japanese side of Zeta. And in fact, they're just going to Rolling Thunder straight into the site. A, a bit more of an issue for some of the players caught back, but hey, they're just going to go pushing all the way through. Yeah, I mean, this is the ideal scenario, really, when you're on the pistols, they've already burned an open. What's happening here? Crew are coming in with four kills, as clean as you like. A blade storm in the hands of Nagsit that does the majority of the work, and Makiba is left alone. An easy double spray down, but he can't get any more. They're right back on the board with five to one. Potential for it there, just a shame that, I mean, again, it really kicking the delegates, the fact that they uh, had invested into the, the Rolling Thunder versus that eco. Now, Raiders found the opening. We talked about the B main control that Naxxed had found before, and he's taken down, but Klaus oh, okay. doing the heavy lifting on the side, he keeps on going, oh, and the spray is good to connect what? on Laz. Even though they've given up the site, they have definitely not given up the round. Crew hitting seven to one towards main, and prime up for a kill as he comes around the corner. There's the shot to Laz, the most impactful player for Zeta arguably so far, now out of the round. Oh. Only one though, only one dealt one with on that short remaining. push initially. Hunter's Fury comes in to help out. That was wonderful. That they had everything set up and now only Crow stands in their way. A one versus four turn three. It would have to be one hell of a clutch. And as you said, left. they desperately need a round like this. 30 seconds for him to try and play with as he's going to go rotating straight into Delzig. They've got the bait of the turret and the peak from the Astra. He's achieved anything, which is a worry. You're going in for this double duelist. You need them to perform. They're going to try this once again with the dash through. He's been stunned by his own teammate's ability. He's been able to escape out of it. This is going catastrophically wrong for Zeta, and what Kesda is just battering them. Please excuse me. Oh, right, okay, Laz recovers, and he's got three. <laughs> VOD to VOD comparison of crew now versus what we saw them before. You can Completely see different. the amount of work these guys have put in, and it's not just down to new metas and all that sort of stuff. Mm. They just look oh. like a far better synergized team. Now we're having Zeta desperately trying to hold on to control. They have their whole team here. This could be a second round of the board for the Japanese side, and in fact, it One looks like it could remaining. be. Takage has been silent all map long, but he steps up here for a big 3K. This could be a lifeline for the now defensive side, unless Klaus.
Klaus pulls something incredible out of his back pocket. Yeah, let's give it a second. Klaus is still standing, but thankfully, Raider is there to close things out. Now, pushing up to B main, though, now a little bit of trouble starts to brew for Mazzino, who gets taken down all too quickly. Takage in with another, and this buy round has not started out well for Crew on the attack. Oh, Raider, though, maybe overextending a little bit. You're in a spot, a five on three. You don't need to give anything back at those sort of points. He'd even retrieved himself one of the rifles. And we're going to see the fault line tagging up Nags. But again, the re-aggression is starting to cause problems. And he almost looked like he was going to correct that. <laughs> Problematic, <laughs> for sure. The recon coming through, going to be a little reveal. They already know that he's there, but they've spotted Takage too. And they've taken him down quite quickly. Oh no, this lurk from Dalzik. They're not even checking it. They're not. Oh, they're not even looking! Oh man! When five players are still alive, crossing One mid, haven't given up the control with. Oh, that's a big mistake. A big mistake indeed. Now one that they've just paid a big price for with crew now on map and four spot or even the top six maybe. So it's going to be interesting. Laz, a very early pop. This is something he does quite regularly. And Takage, these are the plays again. Being a little bit more aggressive into mid. Him and Laz tag team in to find themselves a double opener. But there's still a few players on the board for Crew. Crew are walking into a stack. There's three players here for Zeta. They are ready to take this fight. But it's Nagzit, the first around the corner. What a clean flick to start it off. He's going down to the classic here. His teammate falling with a wall bang headshot. Makaba just about keeping this competitive with low HP on the other two Crew players. It should be a nice, easy retake for the Japanese side. <laughs> wow! Okay! That it certainly was! <laughs> no! Not too well, but yeah, they're splitting away from this, and Makiba's gonna be the only point of contact. Are they cleared the side out at this point, or they're just about to? Mazzino dying on the cross. It's not gonna be the biggest loss, but that could have been the lockdown for the late stage. And almost a guaranteed round on the back of it. Rolling Thunder, ready to roll with Crow. Popping that and knocking at least two of these players off their stun. And here comes the dash on the side. Nagzit not able to get anything done. In fact, it's a shorty to take him down. And very, very clean indeed from Zeta. I'm ready. It's a completely different match at this point. Now we're starting to look at Crew and wondering if they can bring anything back from this. The spam. They'll do a little bit, but not really catch anything from it again though it's going to be this after plant scenario they've taken the site without many problems at all but by the looks of it it's are okay with that not going to be a connection for Mazzino there he's had a really tough time when it comes to these mid fights i wouldn't be surprised if he just backs off in fact goes straight out takes down takage crew just need the one round and this could be it the spike planted and the man advantage is theirs. As the timer ticks away, Zeta are waiting out the utility, trying to use Raida to gain them a little bit of space to push into the site. The flash actually catches him, but he's able to drop down still. Dalzik eliminates him. Crow dealt with another falling. Makiba and Laz doesn't last long. 13 to 8. If it works out this time around, Zeta on the attack side. They've got their wall down on B. They're looking to crunch A though. Mazzino up on top of the ice wall, comes out as the ammo runs low, but Crow is there to save the day and keep them with the man advantage. Delzik in trouble now. The teammates in here to help. <laughs> Nades, boom bots, everything can be thrown on the other way. It looks like there's no such thing as a left click on this server. Everyone's right clicking those classics, and Crow is having a field day so far. Do they expect Raita to be in this position? The rest of the team have gone sprinting over to the B site. They've locked off Heaven with the Sage War. They've got the slows to allow them to cross. But then there's this flank coming in from behind from Raita. In fact, there's even a second one coming through just later on. I don't see any way that the defenders get back into this round. And Takage clearly feeling a little bit inside event. He was not looking to make an ambitious peek. In fact, he was playing the right play. Now up close, Max is in trouble as well, taken oh. down by a Spectre. Well, I don't know what bullets they've loaded into these weapons, but they certainly don't do that kind of damage when I wield them. I don't know. When you've got when you've got the Nerf guns on the other side, you might be the, mm. the guy with the rifle, right? Just, True. Just, just shooting blanks the majority of the time. But for now, at least, it is just going to be oh. slaughter. Nice shot, though, from Mazzinia. He might have just given them a chance in this round. Oh. He even comes back to get another reloading after every single bullets. shot. Didn't seem necessary, but clearly he feels he needs the extra bullets. Takage will close out the round a little closer. Clearing the back side, spotting out there's two, now three players in position to hold this one down. In fact, the operator just around the corner, 10 seconds left. The time is going to be the true enemy of Zeta on this one, but never mind, because they just get a flurry of frags to put five on the board.
They're going to be challenging for the orb. In, in fact, they've even popped Seekers incredibly early on, but this is a bruise, Mitch. And look at that. Nags goes back out for the peak, taking down Raider. That's huge. But have they noticed that it's yet an A hit? Takage. Attacker J is able to grab open the kill, find a side, that spray down goes Mazino's way, but he can't get out of there alive. That could have been huge. Crew setting up for the retake, but now the man disadvantage no longer in play for Zeta. The showstopper of Keznet is what I'm looking at, though. That could be the difference maker right now. They're grouped up and looking to come straight out of spawn. And the first player they'll take contact on is Barris, and that's exactly who they're trying to take down. The orbital strike comes in. He's low HP, but he survives the showstopper. The teammates can't push with him. What a play by Barris. And now things are looking doable. Takage not spotted up above, quickly picks off one, and Nagzit is off to save. Though isn't here to play with. Nagzit is moving down middle. Look at it. He's pushed all the way down. He's going to get an early fight onto Bars before the site is even challenged on, and he wins it out. Now they just need to hold on, but on the site, in comes Raina, and he's got the Blade Storm to play with. A nice double opening. Nagzit rallies in to help out his teammates, rushing with an operator in hand, trying to stop the plant. He's dealing damage, but no kill yet. A four versus two, but that Viper's Pit could be all that Zeta need to close this out. Crow has to stay alive. What a shot onto Nagzit. An ambitious play dropping out of heaven with an operator in hand. And now they'll group up and they'll even start to flank around on them. This is gorgeous. Takage caught and it's all on the Crow. No snake bites to work with. He has to do it with the weapon in hand. And only one oh. left. But Mazzino just about connects. Not use his utility and hope to take these fights. But Nagzit's been forced out of heaven. The flash means Meaning that he pulls all the way back. Kesnit does the same, plays behind the smoke. They concede the control, but Seda are going to look to use that to their advantage, wanting to push all the way through, and the timing is glorious. Kesnit falls, but Nagsit isn't letting it go that easily. A double kill, and as they try to flank him out through elbow, Klaus is still holding strong. The shot not connecting. But it might not matter, because very quickly his teammates come through to help out in a second round. Then he gets a free kill. And again, we're going to have to see that very early round ult used to res a player up. But they're ready for it this time. The nade going in for damage, and Nangzit delivering on the Blade Storm. The numbers remain even as crew. Oh, a little bit of a tough spot now. They hadn't spotted that Raider went all the way through. And in fact, oh, they know where he is, but it doesn't matter. He's good for two. It's the battle of the Jets just going back and forth, and now they finally face off against each other. A pistol versus the knives! And Raider wins it with the classic, barely taking any damage at all. This is his round. And while Delzik, where does he even go at this point? It seems like he has the right read. The fake from Raider hasn't pulled him off, but he needs to do so much, Mitch. Yeah, he really Ooh, does. He's got the first. Planted. Timing is good to cross over to the side. He'll be tickled up on the way. A nice spray as Bars okay. goes down, and it's a 1v2. There goes the Cosmic Divide. They have to push him down. And as they come out of heaven, this could be the ideal scenario for him to just pick them off on the wall. Through, there it is. One and two. Oh! Delzik gets it done. A that? 4K and a huge clutch to keep crew in it. Seven to three. They continue closing in that gap. They've actually got the site for free. The rest of the players are almost just sitting straight into a retake. They want to try and find the picks back in. And more just a tiny gap is enough for Laz to fall. Yeah, that's the first down, the first of many, and a big deal to take those flashes out in the early round. Here comes the lockdown. They're forced out of position, no good trade out, but there's a second player here. Delzik, again, saving the day. That lockdown coming into effect. They have given up on trying to destroy it. Zeta falling all the way back. They're going to rely on Bars coming in on the flank. He just needs one kill and Orbital Strike will be online. It's a two versus two. Now, Bars, the solo man, but he... Oh, no! He's taking the molly out to try and take the fight. He wanted to deny the defuse, but instead, he loses his life. And they're coming into a position where... If they lose this, they've got another map to rely on. Good opening by Dalzik, the Operator, not quite landing. Nagzit gonna have to help out his teammates because Dalzik is running right into the nade, but it doesn't matter. The entirety of Zeta is being dealt with in a matter of seconds and a showstopper to close out the half. I not rotate anybody off just yet. Takaje's also been spotted out by the turret, but it's actually gonna be his teammate that falls. Vars is gone within seconds, and now he has a real job to do. He's been impressive so far, but he needs to find something. 
Yeah, Attack of Jay's playing with fire. They know there's at least two players there. Crow onto Mazzino, just runs right out of the window. Gorgeous stuff. That's an opportunity for Zeta, but they need to deal with these close players. The blind goes in, the kill is there, okay. and Takashi was watch watching for the run out. We're down into a man advantage for Zeta. The wall being broken, good kill, and Kesnit needs to clutch this one out. 100 HP, but three opponents, and it was so close with 20 left on Laz. There's not a lot you can do versus it. As you come around this corner, the first is his, the second very nearly is. Mazzino left on 14 HP. He'll be hunted down, and Takage passes judgment. And it's not good news for the side of Crew. Showstopper pop, but it's not finding anybody. Eventually fired down. 30 seconds Shot left. in the dark and nothing landed. Still, Spike is going to be able to be planted here by Klaus. The two versus three. This is the moment where Klaus needs to step it up. We've seen Kesnit with some big plays, but as we said, this map has not seen a good performance out of this Killjoy on the crew side. And the now is the time that he can make this happen. Weapons in hand as Zeta look to move out of heaven. They're just, oh, they're slowing it down. They're waiting for the flash. Nice, smokes are down. Now they isolate the angle. Snake bites in. That should force them out of position. And so Kesnit wants to try and make a little bit of a play. They've spotted both players now. There's the information. It's coming a heavy cost, but they managed to trade out Laz. No doubt a disappointment over on their side, but the spike is planted. Orbital strike ready for Bars, and he's going to queue that up right after the smoke. Back side is going to be pushed out into the open. Delzig falls right away. Klaus getting one of his kills, one of his first kills with a turret, but it might not matter. Nags, it's dealt with on the back side. And despite what was a good start for Crew, I'm not liking the look of this duel. By a Raider sat here with a judge. Gun, I absolutely despise. We'll see if it's going to work out for him once again. Tactic. He's just not been missing. Here comes the judge. Of course it's going to work. And now it's left all onto one man. But he did do it before. Well, yeah, he made the 1v4 clutch over in the previous half, but this is a bit more of a difficult task. Not rushing into the site, and he's now being spotted. They're starting to descend on these positions, rally up. Takashi kind of looking to take this fight on his own, but he wins it out. Fair a 4K enough. for the man. To back. Rez online to close out the game. 13-5. to five. Just this Looking at Zeta. Fantastic previous map to play with, and they are certainly getting off to a good start here. Rallying forward towards B Long. And of course, it's Raida alongside Takaje leading that charge. Takaje the first to find the opening, healing himself up to that beautiful 150. But Delzik comes in with a big right click. Solo defender now in the back of sight will fall quite quickly. Luckily, he's got teammates rallying in to help him. A big play needed. Some headshots need to be delivered. And so far, nothing is found with both players spotted. It's a simple TP play to plant on A. A pretty tough retake for Crew. As look at the position that McKeeb is in. He'll just be watching them walk on out. Oh, are you not gonna have a fall? Oh, oh, it's oh, oh, oh. a quick battle in history, but they do kind of trade evenly. It's Mazzino left on such low HP at the moment towards the B side, but there's a little bit of a stack here from Crew. Oh, Ooh, okay. Takage is ready to go. Left. One of the rifles in hand. They're actually gonna swing right onto him. Okay, Klaus. He's feeling a little bit confident in that one. A bit of risk taken himself, but he is finding every single this? kill. It was mentioned by you in the last map. He had a bit of a quieter one, but he is feeling it here. And while the last two kills almost seemed like they were stolen away. Let me in. Stuck behind the wall. Nice shot from Crow. We'll keep this one even, at least for a little bit. And they have to be careful on the other side. This duel's so important. It means they can finally take that extra little bit of control. There we go. Seekers are going to be popped. Pursuing the players, trying to find out exactly where they are! And Delsic delivers a double! It's all down to Makiba! One versus, or sorry, Makiba and Laz. Laz has been lurking yet again. What a surprise! He's taken down, and Makiba has the 1v3 that we had teed up for him. He'll at least get the spike planted. It's very difficult to get much more than that when there's three players on the other side, especially when it's Klaus and Kesnitz on the other side. Yeah, he's got the nade as well to try and clear him out of position, even though the first shot has landed, it really doesn't matter too much. He's 
not really open to either team if they're thinking about it for the most part, but it looks like Zeta don't mind taking a fight. Maybe they've accidentally went through the TP. I'm not entirely sure. Klaus has gone down on the B site, and now there's an opening. The whole team comes along as Laz opens it up even further. The Seekers clearing out towards the spawn. They know they've got the time to get this plant in, and the round has flipped on its head so quickly. Nights even go goes down to 20 HP on the TP. We had two players have gone through that teleport and now from the defensive side and it hasn't exactly gone fantastically. He could, think, have, rezzed. He could have rezzed inside the team. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those rounds where I almost, re I think they realize that there's very little hope. This crossfire should be all too easy for them to find this kill and Makiba will do just that. And while Kesner, he managed to get quite far in, but at this point he doesn't stand a chance. Laz is lurk again. See, the way the coach was talking to them there, that was a that was a lecture. That was a real like, guys, listen, we can't be throwing away ultimates. We gotta be playing a tighter game than this. And there are just too many gaps being put out there by the defensive side and too much overcommitment. But we see the same from Zeta and it's like Raiden is the number one victim of that. This time he gets shut down, but his teammates are here running into the site and they're not even expecting it. They're like, oh, Raider ran in? Yeah, he's probably alone because that's how it's been so <laughs> far. Running Takage back. gets wrecked on the fade back. Nags is repositioned. Look, he's even as a teammate with him. One dead. Oh, Laz is just doing so much work here. The spike has actually gone through the teleporter, but it may not matter too much. The remaining two players are already fully committed to the site, and Laz, they're going to try and peek him together. They find that extra kill. This round has fallen apart again. An all-in push down mid, and it's left onto just one man. Now, the full rotation coming through, Crow at least has a full belt of utility to play with. And while on the other side, they've actually still got a boom bot they can throw through. This one's going to be really tough for Crow. That's, uh... Okay. Well, they did put the bot in. Um, guys, his spawn is clear, just so you know. Crow has a flash to play with here. Let's see if he's going to be able to get anything done. No, he's not. The headshot delivered, and Kesnit still manages to win the rounds. It Say what you will about Zeta's attack there and the approach to it, but... It was punished, and that's the, that's where the real skill comes in. I love this! Nice. The pull out in the open. They manages to get away with knife out. Ten seconds left. Zeta need to up the pace. Laz in with a double, but on the back side, Kesnit is still able to drop a player. Time! Has he got enough time? It's going to be damn close, and he just about does. Oh, no, no, he, no doesn't. he doesn't. I thought that was the plan. For them on this A side, oh, by the looks of it, they're not stopping. Oh, the Rolling Thunders pushed Mazzino out of position. He was boosted up on top at the start of the round. The boom bots killed Raina. He dashed into it on the site. A double kill for Kesnit. Takage. As the left corner is clear as he moves on out. The steps are heard. Crew stacked up on site. The spray comes close, but it goes Crew's way every single time. Laz alone in a 1v5 with 10 seconds left and no spike. I mean, do we need to keep on looking at the things that are going against him here? Well, I guess so. Is he fake faking now, lurking out, trying to get them to push forward? Well, it hasn't worked, whatever it was. That's an expensive start to the round. And yet again, Zeta find themselves in a 3v5 with a minute on the clock. Hey, it looks like some of these ults are just being popped almost instantly, maybe in an attempt for a small amount of information, but the value just seems lost. Nice work from Raider, though. His peek into the site. They've also got the grab world to deny anybody holding them that little bit further. So an afterplant looking likely. And what was looking like a done round now actually falls into the favor of Zeta. Well, that is one hell of a start. Oh no, running on site. Nags takes three. How does how's he gotten a double kill from there? The res comes into play and the spray. Makiva not able to get it done. No way Mazzino, okay, left. yeah, he's just playing back on site. So it's going to be a two-man hold oh, on B. Yeah. The Seekers give away the fact that the players are here. And Zeta, they don't push off the back of that. They don't make their move. They delay it. They allow the rotates to come back in. Are they still going to push this? Surely they're going to TP over to A. Now that this, no, they've been not got time. They have to go straight into the stack. Laz, oh, and oh. Reyna deliver the blow. One There's another for the jet of Reyna. They should be able to get this one done, right? Right? And in fact, they will back out, realizing that taking these fights would be suicide, and Takashi okay. gets spotted out. Big play by Klaus, realizing, hey guys, we got this site way too easily. Something's going on. He goes back and checks behind, and that's the opening kill for the side. But will he expect the second player? Because he's, he's taken down the first, they jump spot it. That's brilliant. 
having the right idea and even trading out Rayta at one for one, that's absolutely fine because that was the plan for the round. Zeta are now stuck in the mud. They've got to try and get themselves back in with avenues that definitely aren't favorable. Yeah, Nags tries to get the right click out. Oh, the flash doesn't catch Mazino. He's good for one, pursuing down further. Laz on low HP doesn't really stand a chance now, and he'll be taken down quickly. Eight to five. They are stacked up. They are the favorites to take this across the line, and they needed a loss here. Could be the map already waving goodbye, fading into the distance. Makiba, he's taken so much damage from that nade, man. He stood way too close for comfort. They've TP'd. Laz is able to take down Nags, but this is where trouble starts to brew. The pinch out of the teleporter, and what? What a shot by Takashi. He, I don't even know he meant to get that second kill. He thought he was dismissed out. Mazzino, though, keeps it competitive. A 1v2, then sure, he loses. But in the end, right. three kills out of a round with Spectres? Yeah, very, very slow yeah, round. Going. Look at this. They're just taking the pace down on the crew side, oh. waiting for Zeta to make a move. And it is, of course, Laz that walks right into their open arms. They were waiting on long Bait with two switch. players. Exactly. You get the flash, you think, I'm good, but the second guy comes around the corner. And they're still holding on, tucked away. That's so nasty. We're going to have a deep flash onto the B site. If that hasn't caught anyone, but they've spotted exactly where Rada is. And being as they do it themselves over on crew, they know that this is most likely a judge. They've dealt with him on the dash out. Plant is now secured. Everything is going to plant. Judge. <laughs> I think if you hear a judge break that wall, you decide, you know what? I don't think I'm going to push that smoke anymore. I don't oh, think it really has any sure. value. Oh, good night. Never mind. A little bit of a whiff from Delzik. Wasn't expecting him to be running away, I suppose. He doesn't Hopefully. even have a skin. They sure. Oh, that nade. Oh, that nade. 15 HP. I don't know how Makiba keeps on surviving these, man. He is tanking nade damage. Obviously doesn't want to save here. Rather get the money. Or oh. potentially a weapon. Oh. Oh. Maybe oh, even a kill. Hey, good try. In Berlin. Oh, straight away. We're going to see a very oh. aggressive oh. start, but Takaji oh, oh. not quite gone to plan. He's going to go straight down on already. It seems his teammates might do the white. Did not check that corner though. Crow is going to come up with three, looking for the last kill. Player in front of him, just a classic in hand. This is an awkward battle. And Delzik, he's, he got he, kill after he was dead. Sorry, when did that molly come in? Was that a molly at the start of the round from mid? It must have been, right? Because it would have landed way earlier otherwise. Uh, either way, absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> Where did that get uh, from? Maybe it was out of hookah. I don't, we'll what? get a replay, I'm sure, at some point. We'll have to look at that one in reverse. An awkward classic fight of what we saw. Raida has back. the Bladestorm activated. He's already popped it. Klaus is on the site and going to go in for this plant. Leaving it nice and open. He's... No. Oh no, Raider, the wall had faded. Raider's on site and it's an easy right click. Easy kill, an easy round win. I, I'm questioning everything about the game <laughs> when I see you telling me cool throwing on the floor. Actually. Yeah, it is actually. It's quite nice because it doesn't even waste yeah. a smoke. Orbital oh, strike thrown go. in. These guys are wasting absolutely no time. Crew orbital strike, slow on backside, and now they look to take the fight. You have a cosmic divide in play. This will allow them to push out to site and nade that came through onto Laz. TP's underway. The same oh, return by crew, but hold on. Raid is still here. He'll be spotted out though. Pushed out of position. Still hasn't destroyed the seeker. As he moves to the, still hasn't destroyed the Seeker. That was the flash he got that time. Now he's up. Oh, oh my, no! he's going in. This man hasn't got a dash and he's running through walls. He got what he's got. He's got his comeuppance, that's for sure. Taken down as Crew end up in a 2v2. Crow on low HP, but a Rolling Thunder is there, Tom. And with Takage on the other Back side, again. they're going to just dash out of there. That's uh, the right call in this situation. Does oh, Crow, rolling does, thunder. does he 35 seconds? What's he going to get out of this with low HP? He's made the right call and not popping that. He's going to use it to deny the plant. He's just going to put it all the way through, but it doesn't even deny it. And he dies while he has it out. It's all gone wrong. It's up to Takage to try and keep them in this round, and they won't be able to. His own hand orb gathered to try and get him ever closer to Seekers. The fact is, though, the attackers are already looking to make the play. The stun comes through, but Klaus... He's having a game. Um, and confirming the location of these players. This is going to get very dangerous with Raida falling right away. In goes Takage, but nothing to be found. This could be the end for the Japanese side of Zeta in the opening game. They could be going down to the lower bracket, and by the looks of it, Tom, 
they will. Makiba needs a one versus five clutch. Last time, he died to a Molotov. Let's hope this time around it ain't, but it's an, a bullet to the chest that takes him down. 13 to seven, as Crew will be going on to face Envy in the winner's match. Yeah, it was, it was definitely an up and down performance from them after Matt 2 definitely didn't work out on split. Maybe a vulnerability that they need to work on. But when it came to the first and third map, they were definitely the better of the two teams. Maybe a hiccup here and there, but they are feeling it as they have got themselves through into that upper bracket matchup. They do go on to face off against Envy. And more importantly, they have a chance to be one of the first teams to actually get through into the playoffs.